Spirit rising, guys. Spirit rising. I can hear anything. Spirit leads me to the waters. Feeling good, guys. But I have this message to deliver. The Lord said, Chosen one, if you feel or felt as if God has forgotten you, He's not forgotten you. I'm going to repeat. The Lord said, If you feel or felt as if He's forgotten you, you haven't. Just continue to stay fast, continue to have faith, continue to trust and believe. Because prior, without faith and belief, is nothing. You understand me? So continue to stay fast, continue to have faith, continue to trust in God. The Lord said he still remember you and he's working on behalf of you. This chosen one, he's working trust me, on behalf of you. Yeah? I want to recite this. I was glad when they say unto me, let us go in the house of the Lord. Choosing one is just a blessing to be back and be back in tune. I want to say this to somebody. If you are lost and haven't found your way, find back your purpose and find back your way in God. It is magnificent. It is great to be in under the present and be in the presence of God. You understand me? So I just want to deliver this message. Just say the Lord. I end up at an encounter with God and I want to tell him thanks. Yeah? When the enemy thought he has set us up, he, he was setting us up for the good that God. When the enemy thought he was setting us up to defeat us, he was setting up us for the victory that God has to give us, that was waiting on us. I want to tell somebody this. When the enemy thought he was setting us up to defeat us, he was setting up us for the gift that God has was to give us. So choosing one, the battle may be hot, the road may be hard to cross, but guess what? Steadfast, holy faith, trust in God, because remember, our daddy, our Lord, he never leave us nor forsake us. When man and so-called friends and family leave us, he never forsake us. He's always there with us. You understand me? All you have to do is just trust in him. Do the things that he wants you to do. Or when the road seems hard, the place seems This chosen one, when the way seems dark, trust me, God have the light. You understand me? And another message, don't care what people want to say or people want to think. At the end of the day, you have something special, but they cannot rob you. You understand me? They cannot rob the good and the blessing that God instill inside of you. You understand me? So no matter what people may say, no matter what people may class or slander you are, you know your truth and God know your truth. Steadfast. I had an encounter with God and I want to tell him thank you. Choosing one, God is real. But in order to experience him and in order for him to take you to the, le the another level, you have to commit yourself, you have to submit to him. You understand me? And he will do the rest. Everything that the enemy started, he, he, he stolen from you or robbed you. God have a reason why he let the enemy to take, take, take things out of your way. Because he was preparing you. Yes, chosen one. He was preparing you. So in order, part of the, the, the preparation season was to eliminate things that you thought was of your good. That's why I said early on, when the enemy think he's setting up to you to defeat you, God is preparing you, chosen one. Yeah, I'm going to repeat. When the enemy thought he was defeating you, he was helping God. Not helping God, he was helping to prepare you for, for your winning season. But he thought he defeated you. So sometimes you may lose things. You understand me? Don't look on the things that you may lose where the enemy has taken, taken from you. It can be a job. It can be a business. It can be school. It can be asset. It can be a lot of things. Never look on that because at the end of the day, you don't know what God is setting us up for our chosen one.
choose any one. Oh, can I forget to say purpose? Yeah, me ask all your purpose back then. But guess what? You see, when you come back in tune, you find back yourself and find back your purpose, and you come back in tune with God, nothing sweeter or greater than that. What I said, you see, when the enemy steal your purpose, and you find back your purpose and start to walk up by your path, nothing seems greater than that. You understand me? The light that God has placed in you begin to shine inside out. I'm talking to someone. So this is to say that whatever you felt as if, or whenever you felt as if the enemy write you off, there is nothing else to go or to have faith in. Trust and believe in God. Don't let the enemy feel feel as if he defeat you. Because guess what? You can just feel as that, you know. Enemy oftentimes could bring fear. You understand me? To distract us. Choose anyone, yes. How can I, as I said, what can I forget to say purpose? As I was saying, the enemy oftentimes bring fear. You understand? Bring our traumatic past. Or abusive past. The general, just generational curse that was placed upon our life to often distract us and tell us oh, tell her to, to tell ourselves that there is no purpose within us. It's better if you get to give up ourselves. No. As I said, you see faith as the side of a mustard seed. It can't move mountains. The more I reach for people throw upon me, the more I mount where people put for me, the more things where the enemy set up with with people for try to get me up but I am a living testimony here I am today but it wasn't because I'm man or people but the grace of God that is how God work when you have purpose in your life the enemy cannot kill you no matter what kind of voodoo witchcraft what kind of paper them may, may write what kind of word I'm choosing when I'm speaking to somebody yeah the enemy the mount of things of the enemy from me at a tender age coming up it's like the enemy wanted to destroy me. But you have to see because my God placed purpose on my life. He will never even see live his defeat. To see me can this. And I can't watch his be defeated. Yeah. Because my God set up angels of peace, prosperity, and protection to guide and protect me. And nobody can stop that. <coughs> so I'm just say this to say that choosing one. <coughs> God. The enemy is not greater than God. Don't make him bring fear of your traumatic past, your childhood traumas, the pain and the hurt and deceit of people to get you down and make you feel like you can't go on. That, as I tell you, the work of the enemy is to kill, steal, and destroy. But it's up to you to and choosing one. That is why I am so passionate about God. What I said, that is why I'm so passionate about God. Because you see the things that I've been through. No man, no pity, no mother, no father, no uncle, no auntie, no brother could take me out of that. I got him so. Let me say, let me say chosen one. Nobody could deliver me or take me out of that. I got himself. I represent myself. I want me say God help those who help themselves. As me say, I have to trust and believe. Seek God. Put yourself ready at a place with God, the encounter with God, and Him will do the rest. I'm going to close this um, testimony. Remember, guys, love. If you can be nice to one somebody out there, we're living in trying times. You understand me? Where the enemy is on rampage, but remember, him cannot be defeated. You have to. Okay, guys. Correction. <coughs> he can be defeated. Satan can, the enemy cannot defeat us, but we can <coughs> defeat him. So, as I close, I will continue to say, if you can be nice to somebody out there, sometimes you don't have to go in your pocket or so, but sometimes you, you, you never know what a person may go through and just sitting and talking with them, say, I, how are you? What? Da, 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 da. You understand me? Can bring such a change and such a light to a person. Just probably just saying a psalms or bible verse or just praying can instantly change the mind of that person or give that person hope let us be our brother's keepers forgive because when you forgive people who hurt you and not forgive them because of them but you are forgiving them because of yourself you understand me just like oh god forgive us for our sin you understand me forgive 
But remember, you guys, as I was saying, forgive. When you forgive, remember, know your limit. You understand me? Know the limit. I know the extent and and what is, the, you know, what you are setting up yourself for. So, dear, said this and said that. Forgive and leave it there. You understand me? Just forgive and move along. Sometimes when we keep hurt and pain and the things that people have done us, it stops us for our, for our good part and for our blessing part. And so that is it. It is important to forgive. You forgive, but you don't forget. You understand me? And the forget will continue leading, leading you and showing you that don't put back yourself in certain situation. So, as it said in the Bible, leave all vengeance unto God. Clear your vessel, clear, because God, at the end of the day, can, God cannot live in dirty vessel or mucky or vessel that corrupt and Yes, guys. So, as I close, I can say, I am blessed. I am going to say it again. I'm blessed and highly favored by God. That is the greatest favor when I want favor. You understand me? I am blessed and highly favored by God. Thanks be to God. As I continually say, I was glad when they say unto me, Let us go in the house of the Lord. Those these guys love, 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 love. Peace, peace, peace. Fasting, prayer, faith can move mountains guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and share to my youtube channel peace out